In this video, I'm going to show you how to add perfect motion blur to your 3D renders here in Fusion. So as you can see, I've got this very simple scene set up in Blender. It's just a Suzanne model with two keyframes kind of just rotating and moving across the screen. So the only thing you have to check is let's go to our render settings and make sure that you're using cycles as your render engine and here you can set your GPU device if you have one. And the only thing we need to check is if you come to your view layer section right here, just make sure that you enable this vector pass as well. And that will include the X and Y uh, vector speed basically or the vector velocity into the render. So then we can go to our output settings and the only thing here you need to check is your file format. Make sure this is set to open EXR multi-layer and then for the color depth you can use float or half. That's perfectly fine. So as you can see this is uh, it's got a duration of 60 frames. So you can render that out to an image sequence and then let's jump into Fusion. All right, so here I am in Fusion, and first of all, we can import our image sequence that we rendered from Blender. So I'm going to right click here in the media pool area. If you don't see the media pool, just click the media pool right here at the top. And I'm going to just import the media or the render. So I'm simply just going to select the first one, shift select the last one, make sure I've got all the frames and import that. And uh, I usually just check the clip attributes to make sure that the frame rate is the correct frame rate that I've uh, set my project to and this is correct. And then we can create our new fusion composition by just right clicking new fusion comp and uh, you can give it a name. Let's just call this motion blur and you can also set the duration here. So this will only be two seconds, I think. Yeah, 60 frames, two seconds. Um, that should be fine. And then you simply double click this comp to open up the node system here at the bottom. And then you can drag in your 3D render. And I usually like to start with a background. So I'm simply going to drag in a background and kind of just connect that so we know the output size. And then we can merge that over our uh, output. And then we obviously need to select our layer on that uh, media in. So I'm going to set this to combined. And I'm just going to close the media pool so this we've got a bit of extra space here. And because I rendered this with AGX, I just need to add an OCC uh, color space converter. And I'll just set my source color space and my output color space so everything looks correct. And then what we can do is we can search for a vector motion blur node and we can drop this in right here. And as you can see, nothing really happens. So we can play through this and you can see we don't have any motion blur. So what we need is an input. There's an input on this node, which is vectors. You can see the green one here, the blue one, I think is the mask. Yeah. And the green one is the a vector that we need to input. So what we need to do is we need to take our EXR image sequence and plug that into our vectors input right here. But as you can see, nothing is still happening. And there's one extra step that you need to do. And that is you need to go to your media in node and then go to the channels tab. And then you'll see you've got your X and Y velocity here. And you just need to set that so it is connected to those passes. So there's the layer vector X and that's the vector Y. And instantly you can see we've got that perfect motion blur. You can also adjust the strength of that motion blur if you go to the motion blur uh, node and you can kind of increase the size of it, something like that. Or if you just want to kind of keep it realistic, keep it on one. And that's how easy it is to add realistic motion blur to your EXR renders in Fusion. Keep an eye on my website, ruanlotter.com, for some Fusion uh, courses that will be released soon. Have a good one. Cheers. Goodbye.